what's happening everybody oh, welcome amp capo here black adonis games we are in lira starter game for unreal engine 5 and i wanted to let you guys know that um this video i actually do have a partition map so we got a partition map um i did make some changes you guys are gonna see some nice little weird little uh transitions i got going through the map here and i do have spawn points on these transitions the cool thing is is you can tell this partition for one and you could tell that the uh, lod's and things are working by look at how jagged and crappy that looks from far but when you get close you can see everything blends in and it looks completely different so also we can click on each piece here and I'm still working on optimizing everything guys um, it does play very well um, especially the built copy um, getting it to do this um, was a bit of a task um, if you attempt to use the partition map and you are in the Lyra starter game it's not going to work because they did not set it up to work with it out of box. So what you have to do is you have to set up uh, nav mesh invokers on each of your characters. Okay. So before I even kick this video off, I do want to uh, send uh, a shout out and love and thanks to all my subscribers that have subscribed since the last time I put a video out, man. I don't know that, why that was like a tongue twister to me. The last subscribers who have subscribed since the last time that I put a video out. Man, that is crazy. Anyway, man, I want to thank y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys definitely uh, motivate me to do more. Um, so we have the same map now, but it is partitioned. Um, also, just to show that here, we can go into our... Uh, world partition here and we can actually unload part of the map so let's just unload the selected cells and you'll see they disappear so we still do have optimizing to do um so i'm not going to say that just because this partition that is completely optimized but it does run at a better frame rate even while recording um it's running um between 45 and 55 even ha hit some 60s and this is because I still don't have everything perfectly done yet, but I do have, as you can see, when I unloaded the cells, you can see that buildings and things disappear. Um, when I unload the cells that those buildings are on. So um, I'm going to get into all of this, guys. Like I said, I'm still learning it. So, I mean, I have to learn it before I can teach it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to teach you guys something and then, you know, come to find out it's completely wrong. Um, I know it won't be completely wrong, but I'm just, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to things. So I just don't want to teach something wrong. You know what I'm saying? So I want to know what I'm talking about when I teach it to you guys. So um, <clears throat> I do want to go into this part of it, though. I do want to teach you guys one thing, no matter if you're working with uh, this kit or if you're working with FPS kit or third person shooter kit or MP, uh, no matter what, what kit you're working with guys. And I'm naming these kits and not because they're just kits that I own or kits that I know about or whatever. It's just because I'm trying to emphasize something that you're going to need this no matter what kit you're using. Um, I'm going to go into one of my characters here and we're going to pick Kapaki because that's my girl from the lesser God. So, we're going to choose her and what I want to show you guys and um, let me go ahead and enlarge this. And I don't know why my windows are doing that weird. Why they're starting off all small like that. Um, this is called navigation invoker. OK. And what this does is this creates and what I'll do is I'll show it to you. It creates a nav mesh right around your character. Now, if you have the um, Lyra set up and you go and create a map and you go and you try to do like i said a partition map the characters are not gonna move man um i was fighting it for hours and then i finally figured it out so i'm gonna bring this character in i'm gonna drop her on the map okay and i think i dropped her on the map let me make sure because i didn't see anything update 
I don't think she got on the map. Um, let me check one more time here. Okay, this one's really on the map. I want to press P. And what it does is it shows the nav mesh around the character. This is what I mean by using a nav mesh invoker. What this does is it sets the nav mesh to be right around the character and you can set the uh, dimensions of this nav mesh. I'm actually still working with them to see what the minimum that will give me the proper performance because I don't under, I don't know if it uh, determines what the character actually sees as far as structure on the map or if this is just a traversing like this is the nav mesh that the character runs on and they still see uh, all blocking areas and things like that to make choices so i'm assuming that this is just a nav mesh and the character still sees everything around them so that you could make this maybe a little smaller than i even have it here i shrunk it down um at default i believe this is at 3000 for uh tile generation radius and the tile removal removal radius is 5000 so um I'm going to go ahead and delete this character now, but just to show you, like I said, if I move the character around, you can see the mesh around the character moves around. I just grabbed one of the characters that has this. I did this for every single character uh, in my folder of, and, and I actually put this on the cosmetics uh, inside of Lyra. So if we go here and let me go ahead and I'm going to, make this larger and we're going to shrink this down but if i go here and i go into the cosmetics folder you will see every one of my characters no matter which character i bring up and let's go ahead to the view because i just like to show with the window here and go to viewport because i just like to have my character up but no matter which character i choose there is an invoker on it and i shrunk all of them down so far but i want to teach you how to set this up right quick because this is going to be the first step and trying to put your own map or implement your own map into or if you did try and you're like dude my characters ain't moving what the this is why you need to use this uh, nav mesh invoker you add it by literally going to your character it's very easy and put just start typing nav and then click on the nav mesh invoker it will add one to your character then you can go here and these are the set settings that i just discussed with you a second ago um leave everything else as it is you can adjust these um i'm sure that you gain performance by making these radiuses as small as possible but keeping the performance of the actual character i don't know how it affects the character's uh, sight radius or anything like that so that's why like i said i'm still playing with it guys um so the next thing is that you want to go here and you want to go into your project settings okay and i'm going to show you guys how to set this up a little bit so you add that to your character then you want to go here and you want to go to where it says nav mesh okay so you have one here scroll down until you see runtime generation by default this is going to be on static you want to make sure this is on dynamic because dynamic means that it can happen during runtime in the game dynamically this nav mesh can form and keep forming and 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 then you can remove it when the character is not there anymore um so basically thus allowing the character to dynamically create nav mesh when it needs it okay so you definitely want to make sure that's done. Now, the next thing you want to do, same thing, um, project settings. On um, the other setting um, is in, um, I want to say it's in nav mesh system. Um, actually, you just, just type in invoker, N-V-O-K, invoke, and you want this here. And I was in the right one, in a navigation system generate navigation only around navigation invokers so that way you can have a huge nav mesh and i'm going to explain this to you guys right quick um you can 
uh, we can go out here and I'm going to type in nav. Okay. And we're going to scroll this down and you're going to see we have a nav mesh here. And I'm going to go ahead and take this out of game view. And you can see this is a nav mesh that my characters are allowed to run. It's well within the limits, but then I do have an area here that is not covered. I'm going to go ahead and fix that right now while I got the video up. Um, but what this is, uh, is, is the actual nav mesh for the project and how far the characters can move around. So um, this is the full nav mesh. But the only part that you're going to see is the part that spawns around each character. So the only part you're going to use of the nav mesh at any one time. This way you can have a humongous map. But the only nav mesh that's going to be used is by the characters. It's going to spawn right around the characters like I showed you guys when I showed you the character that I dragged in. So this is a serious benefit. This is a leap forward when it comes to Unreal Engine. And that's how you set that up, guys. Literally, that's it. What I just showed you should get you a nav mesh. And, and like I said, but to test it, just drag a character in and make sure you press P. See, if the P is off, you're not gonna see it. Press P, you'll see the nav mesh, move the character around, and you should see the nav mesh move around with the character, okay? So this is the first step that you wanna make sure you do and you can basically apply this to each one of your characters. Like I said, you go in here and you look, you'll see that each one of my characters, when you open the full blueprint, will have an invoker, okay? So you just wanna make sure you have that on every single character um, before you attempt doing a map inside of Lyra, okay? Or else it's not going to work. I'm just telling you right now, you're going to be sitting here baffled wondering why your characters are standing there and they're all in a bunch and they're not moving, even though you got a nav mesh. And they might even shoot and they shoot very slow, like bang. And then you'll wait a few minutes and then bang. So that's what's going on if that happens, guys. But this is it. This is how you do it. Let me go ahead and delete, uh, de delete this character. We don't really need this character. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys, when it comes to that. Um, I did run it, and the performance is definitely better. I get like 50 frames while recording. I told you guys I'll lose anywhere between seven to ten frames while recording so it's definitely running a lot faster um plus i still have other things like fog and other things to work out so i gotta figure all that out but guys it is working man i definitely uh got the map working um in engine i get errors because of um it's telling my video memory is running out and that has to do with my uh meta human and my hair settings and stuff on my main character I may just have to bring the hair back in again and do it from scratch. Um, I'm not sure, but I want to go ahead and run it so you guys can see that it does work. Okay, and we are down here. So this is in engine, so the quality is going to be pretty crappy compared to out of engine, as you can see. It does work though. There you go, it does work. I think I need to redo the dash. I think I have the dash shorter than it was before, but I think it's a little bit longer than the original, but it's still shorter than before. But I just wanted to show you guys that it does work. Um, the bridge, everything is there. I still have to set the scaling of what spawns and how and the spawn distances and all those things for the partitioning so you know we'll get that together i also did adjust the 
uh, jump height of the character. Um, yours probably does not jump anywhere near this high. Um, and these are all things that I'm still working on, guys. So um, this is just to show you that we did uh, get the character working. Um, and you definitely want to use this technique that I am talking to you about. So you want to make sure that you add an invoker to your character. And then go in and do those settings that I just showed you. You want to make sure you add an invoker to your character. And then go in and do the settings that I showed you. Um, I'll go in one more time. Um, and we will uh, go in. And so I can show you one more time the settings. Um, you want to go, you want to add the invoker to your character. Then you want to go here. You want to make sure that you set the runtime generation to dynamic. And then you want to go in uh, here. And you want to go to uh, the invoker. And you can basically just type in invoker. If you can't find it, um, just type it in the top here. I-N-V-O-K. And you want to just make sure that this is checked to generate the mesh only around the navigation invokers because if you don't and the mesh is humongous like for a, a 40 33 by 40 33 map which is the next uh, level that I'm going to go to then it is going to cripple your system so you know unless you got a real high end graphics card and even then man I, I think it's still going to cripple it but guys that's it we do have it set here I'll let you guys know the details on when I fine tune all of this and get this better and get this running smoother. Um, I want to actually uh, uh, invoke more characters, um, bring more characters into the level. I'm trying to do something where, you know, I really want to get the four teams up like they like they, like they have it set in the top down. And I will probably have to edit the widget to do this. Um, but I am going to attempt to do this as well, but get four teams so that way we can have the yellow that it has four teams on here, but they only set it up for the top down. I don't understand why they would not do that for uh, the shooter, but with me talking, they may do it, um, but they need to set it up to where you can have uh, multiple teams and choose how many teams there are. And um, all of that should be exposed easily. But guys, anyway, that's it, man. I'm going to do a video also showing uh, how this runs. But I just wanted to show you that you need to set that up first. So if you have already figured out how to bring your own maps in um, and you're trying to do it with World Partition, then you need to make sure that you have that set up, okay? I want to thank the people that have subscribed once again. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games, Man, The Lesser God. I will be posting a new update for that. Working in 4.27 and then moving over to 5, guys. So it's working in both engines right now. So don't hesitate to look at those videos because those are basically based on both engines. All right. And the game will be coming. Um, I'm still not sure how soon. There's just so many new things like this. I wanted to put as a front end. I, and you know I use... Uh, third person shooter kit for uh, my main main uh, project and then I also use a uh, first person shooter kit FPS kit um, as well so you know I got a lot to work with here I got a lot of options um, one love and couple black Adonis games like a subscribe man tell your friends tell other people about the project tell other people about the knowledge that I'm trying to spread over here all right all right, man. One love to y'all.